Hello, YouTube land. How are you? It has been such a long time since I've posted a video. Last night I was watching TV and I, ha I can't just sit and watch TV because to me it's just a tremendous waste of time. Oh, excuse me. And um, so while I was watching Falling Skies, my weakness, <laughs> I was on my computer and I peeked at YouTube and wow. It has really changed. <laughs> Took me a few minutes to figure it out. I think they're trying to be more like Facebook. So I finally figured it out. I can't figure out how to change my picture though. I have a picture of me like a hundred pounds larger than I am now. It's like my, I guess you call it a profile picture or something. <laughs> anyway, uh, I can't even figure out how to change that. So <laughs> I'm not a techie. But it's good to be back and it was good to kind of poke around a little bit but disappointing. I have probably 150 people that I subscribed to and maybe five of them are still posting which is kind of sad because you know some of these people I really kind of grew to care about and um, I'd love to know how they were doing but the few people that are left seem to be doing great and uh, so that was kind of nice. So I thought I would check in and say hi Never mind the mess behind the lady. <laughs> this is my new office. See that mess? And it's boxes of books and books <laughs> on various bookshelves. And the reason my office is such a mess is because it's no longer in California. We moved. And uh, this is the last to get organized. And I've been working on my office forever. And um, I have new bookshelves. And of course they have to be stained and assembled so I can line my office and put all this mess away. And of course the bookshelves are over there waiting to be stained and my mess is here. So maybe that'll be my 4th of July project. <laughs> Start staining those stupid shelves that are in the boxes. So, or I could just do this. I'll just do videos like this. This looks pretty natural, right? Nobody would know that my office is a mess if I make videos like this. Fix. Soft. Solved. Problem solved. <laughs> anyway, yes, we moved. We moved from California to Oregon. And we moved up here December 31st. And we moved up here because my folks are getting older. And they needed some practical support. My mom has dementia. And she's really not able to do much of anything anymore. And so I'm here. And... It's been an adventure. I love that I can be here for my folks and support them and I love that I can be closer to my family and do all those little things that I missed out on for so many years being in California like soccer games and parties and get-togethers and it's nice to be able to reestablish relationships with people that you know are more difficult when you live far away. But I'm definitely homesick. And when I think about San Francisco, I can be there in an instant. I can feel it. I can taste it. I can smell it. I, you know, that is my home. And so when I think about it, I get really emotional. So I just don't think about it. <laughs> and uh, I don't know, will I ever get to move back? The Bay Area is very expensive. So who knows? But for now, I'm here. And I live in a little town on the coast and that's beautiful uh, the air is beautiful you know fresh and perfume it's like perfume here in the morning because the air is so fresh and clean and you can smell all the flowers and trees and and the weather is um, rainy <laughs> uh, lots and lots of rain here um, and you know it's 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 nice it's just not home and what can you do so I, uh, let's see, I'm not working, uh, there's no jobs here. This is a really small town of less than 10,000 people and I'm in the legal profession and there's nothing. So since I haven't won the lottery and I'm not independently wealthy, I will have to try and figure that out. So we do have a little house, I got a little house and I was able to negotiate a good deal on it because it's on the market, it's been sitting on the market empty for a couple years. So. We do have a little place. It's uh, less than a mile from my folks, so I can go over there. No, I'm over there every single day. I'm at my folks anywhere from 5 to 
12 hours a day depending on you know what they need and um, you know and I, I'm grateful I can do that because three years ago I couldn't even cook my own dinner you know I couldn't wash my own dishes I could not move and now I'm like mom <laughs> to my parents I'm doing all those mom things for them running errands I cook dinner every night you know um, I, I, I just do their laundry, clean their house, you know, whatever. I'm doing all that stuff. And to think that before my surgery, when I was over 400 pounds, I could have never, ever, no matter how much I wanted to help, been able to help. So I'm grateful. I'm grateful for that. And um, I mentioned the other day to somebody, yeah, you know, I had RNY gastric bypass surgery, you know, a couple of years ago. And my daughter said, Mom, that was three years ago. I'm like, no, 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 no. It's only been a couple of years. No, it's been three years mom three years three years I, <laughs> I can't believe it's been that long um, when I first started this process I thought oh this will never work for me I was one of those people this is gonna work for everybody but me and I was terrified it wouldn't work and I knew it was my last hope and then I had my surgery and you know I was going through the whole thing and I remember hearing people say and I remember my surgeon warning me that after a couple years everything you know goes back it's not that your surgery becomes undone it's that your body which is made for survival readjusts itself so chopping off your intestines and depriving yourself of the ability to digest the food um, at full capacity your body changes and the little bit of intestine that they leave behind fixes itself so that it can become as efficient as your original intestines and stomach so after a couple years you don't absorb only 70 percent you absorb a hundred percent and I remember the old timer saying have your you know what together by two years because by two years if you're still you know emotionally eating making bad choices tra la la you can eat just about whatever you want and you can gain all your weight back and we all know people who have done that and so I was always terrified of the two-year mark and I guess I was just shocked to realize I had not only hit it but gone past it by a whole year <laughs> yay uh, so everybody always wants to know you know what is your weight so my weight is actually about 10 pounds more than the last time I did a video um, I have not been working out I haven't been to the gym for probably a year and that makes such a difference and um, if I'm really really tight on my portions of food I can get the 10 off but I actually kind of prefer my face <laughs> so a little bigger it's like if I could so I'm a size 14 now and um, the, I got down, my last size was a 12. At 180, 185, I was a 12 because my waist required a bigger size than my hips. So um, now I'm a 14, and I actually like my face a little better. When I am 10 or 15 pounds less, then my turkey warble seems to hang down more. Get that back up there. <laughs> and, um, I feel like I look about 10 years older and at my age that's a lot <laughs> so if I could keep my size 14 face and put it with a size 10 body oh, that would be the bomb that would be the bomb that would be the bomb but that's not how it works so I'm doing well um, maintenance is not a problem I just I'm, I'm basically doing the same thing I did when I first got out of surgery I eat the same way I eat the same portions I just follow those rules and I'm good let's see what am I doing I'm not working so I gotta figure out that and how to fix that um, this little town has no jobs <laughs> what jobs there are here certainly aren't in my profession which is law and they pay about eight dollars an hour so I gotta get creative I am soon to be ordained. I've been working the last couple years on becoming an interfaith minister, so I'm excited about that. I'm doing my first wedding in October, so I'm drafting the vows and getting ready for that, so that's fun. I'm looking forward to that. Um, other than that, I'm just kind of hanging in there. I do like this new built-in clock on YouTube. Since my timer died, I no longer need my timer. I got this nice little thing flashing in the corner. Yeah, that was a good move, YouTube. All this other crap. Whatever, but I like that. All right.
Take care. Talk to you later.